Good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Talking Balls. Today we are talking the Tory Spons, Taylor Made, which James the Stripe does love. It is a fan Loves favourite. Loves a strong of James. word, but and the Tour Divide. So the Q Star Tour Divide, both Eurothene covers. So we're testing them out today. One has got a matte finish, one is a standard finish. So far, unfortunately, I'm one down. But the main thing here for me we're going to look at is in and around the green, how this golf ball is going to be fantastic for you practicing and on the golf course to give yourself feedback when you, well, just when you play in general. Right, so first shot, we're going to hit one of each and we're going to see which one we favour the most and see what kind of feel we get. So we there, very clear. It was a nice rotation in the air, wasn't it? Neutral spin. It was out the middle as well. And I'll go now with the same same ball so one big thing and people talk about in chipping and in putting and well in general is neutral spin so what we're wanting to my get, mate pete talks about that but uh, james's mate pete speaks about that but we want to see it neutral and if we get somebody who's across the ball we're going to see a lot of spin on that and that may, might be why you are miss striking your chips or your chips aren't going in the right direction and they're not going close enough so let's see how this one flies i'm going to go a lower flight here than james Oh, that was nice. We've both gone a bit left, though, haven't we? Bad so shot. Left. I think you go one up, or you take a point there with the. Uh, Does that put me two up then in the grand scheme? That puts you two up in the grand scheme. But this ball, guys, for me, the matte finish does feel totally different. That did feel a lot softer off the face there, and would be more like a golf ball I would like to use. Oh, that felt absolutely wonderful. Not spun as much as the Tory response, not though, has it? Not spun as much. Did land a little that bit. That felt short. so good. Did it feel soft off yeah, the face? Yeah, really, really soft. Almost too soft. Too soft. And this guy's why right. it's, it's a three-piece ball. It is probably a ball that most of you would think about using. Think about: Would you use the ball with yellow and blue? Would you use one with yellow and orange? Would you yellow and white? They look good. Yellow and white. We haven't got any of those yet, but we might those out and see if they're easier to see. What Chris is trying to say is, come on Trixon, pull your fingers out. And easy to play. Nice. Oh, he's pulled it back lovely there. So I think that's 1-1. One, one. So you're still one up there, but felt just as soft there in and around the green. On the longer stuff, I don't think it feels as soft off the driver. And that's something that I mentioned earlier. But certainly around the greens, I like the feel. And that's something that you could get used to. But is the colour a big decider for you? Do you want to be that person who goes onto the first tee? No. With the yellow and ball. For me, it does focus my ball. mind though. Like you look at that, I very rarely chip out of the centre of the club. It's usually the toe. And it has focused my mind that much that they're uh, very centred, Chris, as you'll see that. Well, some might say you've had a uh, lesson. Right, Chris, I'll give you the honour. We're going to go a little short sided shot now just off the side of the green. So another shot that you're going to try and get feedback with on the ball. Yes. You're going to go seven wood. I'll go the least loft I'm comfortable with, so uh, gap wedge, 50 degree. I thought you were going to say 60 again, but yeah, we want to see here how this rolls, even on these kind of shots. Again, we can't line up, it's not winter rules anymore, but if your ball does finish here... Very much or, a practice scenario, this though, isn't it? Yeah, if you're practicing going around the green, it's very much a good productive session. Oh, that is an excellent roll, he just hit it too hard. It's a lovely roll though. So great roll, a little bit firm. Certainly a shot you need to practice, and by the looks of it, I do as well. See there, I was gonna aim right, but because I've kind of set that up with my alignment, it stopped me. So when you are practicing, obviously some people practice with alignment, sticks down and clubs down and things like that. So everything's just helping, your shoulder alignment, hip alignment, foot alignment to hit the correct shot. So great neutral spin. Ran out and did exactly what you expected. Right, yeah. you go there, so back to two up. Let's come in with the shrieks and divide now. Amazed how quick these greens are as well. See, I find this harder to line up. You notice it's a thinner line, whereas yeah. the, the tour response. Because you can go down the middle of the tour response and still see it either side, I think it is very good for lining up. Again, very neutral spin. It's done the job. And that's only a better shot because I've learned from the first shot in fairness. Yeah, that's it. But like you say, sometimes you can't line this up as easy as the tour response. So have Shrixen miss something there. Oh, 
that's a lovely roll. Yeah. Ooh. Great shot. I think that's back to one. Back to one. So now what I want to do is we're going to do a little bit of putting and show you on how important on longer putts. Your short putts are very important for lining up, but on the longer putts when we've got a bigger breaking putt, how important using these lines and getting the feedback is that we're not walloping or hitting the putt. And if Chris wants to, I'll send him the putts that I hold on this on the review of the strike ball. because They were, right. they were exceptional. Much. If I do say so myself, they were brilliant. They were out of the... Oh, it's gone. Out of this world. That's fine, I'm all right. The fans are all right as well. Right, Chris, I'll let you go first with the roll after your, uh, your nice shot with the seven wood. I'm going to try and watch this roll as well. Perfect. Well, let's see. Got that lined up just outside the left. Move slightly back. Again, here it's much easier for me now to align to that ball. It does look better down than looking at the divide. I followed that majestically well. Just so, your cap at the end, actually. But oh. if we follow this straight to it, you'll see that that ball is still on its axis, which is something we spoke about in my video. And that shows the feedback. You just didn't aim far enough and didn't hit it hard enough. No, and that's it for where I've aimed. I've aimed a foot left, and that's finished exactly where it was aimed to. We saw that it rolled good, and it's finished exactly on its axis. So here, what access. I'm going to do on its axis. Yeah. Insurance claim on its axis. Not yet. So I'm going to now line this one up. And again, for me, like I said, on over standing over the tour response, it does feel more comfortable lining up here with just a very small line in the middle. It's a little bit harder. I think that's just as good for feedback, but, ooh, harder to line up. Yeah, harder to line up, harder to square. You might start to move around. I find with the tour response, it is a little bit easier for me and more comfortable behind the ball to set that up. So that's more of a ball that I'm going to use on the golf course and feel comfortable with. So I think let's go with the divide first. See, I must think that's harder to line up than just a ball with a line on it. Yeah, a little bit harder. So again, here. You can see a good roll. Oh, just not hit it. But just pretty much where that was lined up. James finds it harder to line up there. That was looking on the camera that it was aimed right and it's gone exactly where strangely enough it felt great off the wedge but it felt a bit firm off the putter then yeah with the matte finish it does feel a little bit different to whereas with this i've been putting with this for a while it feels it's lovely and soft fast. got to go in oh it stayed there but did you get the feedback on that i mean it wasn't my best zoom effect that i've ever done i'm not going to lie to you but yeah we can see it rolling end over end and again finish wise it's pretty neutral down Interesting here. that I got it where you want it distance-wise with the ball that I've been using today, yep. and you got it with the ball that you've been using today, but we both struggle with the balls we haven't been using today. And that's it, that's a big thing. That shows the ball that you're using, we can be better with our distance control. So being consistent with the ball that you use. But so far, I'm favouring towards the tour response, so hopefully James has got some spare. But we're going to go now, <laughs> final test. Bunker. Bunker. In the bunker now. What we're going to do is we're going to use the divide first. I have done a video previous on this showing how if you are cutting across the ball, you'll see the ball not spin too great. And that's why you might not be consistent out of bunkers. But I'm going to start with the divide. We'll certainly see how this reacts. James's camera work is better than mine. Not bad, but not great. Very neutral, but a little bit higher than I thought. We can certainly see that it's still moving. Quick greens here at Woolley. Do you want to come in with your divide? Can you remember the score, by the way? James Placing, yeah? Placing, ah. Line it up. That's an outstanding roll, isn't it? I can see that rolling I bet down. you didn't get that, did you? I mean, it was the best camera work I could do. Again, roll pure, even when it landed, we could see that very clear. So let's go on to the uh, tour response, the favoured ball so far. Is that for both of us? I, I think so. Oh, that's a cracking shot. Such a difficult shot, that, isn't it? Again, it came out with a nice neutral spin on it, though, so you know all that to do there was hit that harder and it was going to be a decent shot. Yeah, same with mine with the first shot with the divide. 
course that it's lined up. I think unfortunately it has been. You a case. need to hold this to not lose, basically. I was about to say, I think James has won, but if, if he's given me a chance, I'll try and hold out. Damien, leave the holding of shots to me. I had a hole in one, did I tell you? No, you didn't tell me, but the pressure got to me there. But guys, the tour response ball for me is a much more a ball that you will use on the golf course. It's a little bit easier. You're not going to be that guy who turns up with a bright yellow and orange golf ball. But hopefully we will get some of the uh, white and yellow ones. Compare those. Just ask them, Chris. Ask them I now. I will just ask Rickson if they can send me some of those. <laughs> but we will test those and compare. But for me, the tour response, a great ball for feedback and a great ball for improving your uh, golf. Guys, we'll see you again later in the week.